Okay, I'm going to cover a real wicked time in American history that has been virtually erased. But we still have access to this information and it needs to be brought out. Ladies and gentlemen, anybody that tells you to forget your history is a straight up devil and you should never have nothing else to do with that person. I haven't seen any Caucasoid forget their history yet. And they got the audacity to look a black person in the face talking about forget the history. You kiss my ass. I ain't forget nothing. This is one, but not the only concentration camp in America. We know this was in Natchez, Mississippi which is a still a very racist place even to this day. Them demons down there in Mississippi, we know how you're still lynching black people. <sighs> the Devil's Punch Bowl, an American concentration camp so horrific, it was erased from history. Every damn thing these devils have done to us, past and present, is horrific. I don't forgive nothing. Okay, I'm not one of those, I forgive you, Christian Negroes. They must be out of their damn minds. I don't forgive shit. I pray for your retribution, for your blood to finally shed. That's what I wish for, but I will never, ever forget at the request of some cockazoid. You must be out of your mind. In this photo, you can see the remains of some of the victims that died at the hands of Union soldiers. So that just go to show you neither side gave a damn about our people, whether they were Confederate or Union. And they killed thousands of our people in these concentration camps. Thousands. It's here. Yes, I know. Sorry about that. That was my son. We have a, a really bad storm moving into the area right now, and he was just letting me know, but I'm going to finish this video. Say the words concentration camp, and most will surmise the topic surrounds World War II and the Nazis. You know what? I ain't thinking about no damn Nazis. Nazis did not do anything to black people. That shit was in Germany. I don't give a damn about it. I care about my people and what was done to them. But the hard labor and constant threat of death and barbarism is microcosmic hell presented weren't unique to Adolf Hitler. In just one year, 20,000 freed slaves, but I really truly believe it was more than that. You got to understand the numbers that this place always report when it comes down to killing our ancestors is always fudged and the number is always much smaller than the actual victims that died there. So 20,000, I take that with a grain of salt. Freed slave perished in the Devil's Punch Bowl in Natchez, Mississippi, USA, the most racist place on earth. After the Civil War, a massive, a massive exodus of former slaves from southern plantas, uh, plantations trekked northward in hopes of reaching a location of true freedom, which still don't exist today. There is no true freedom anywhere in America. The embittered soldiers, resentful, the people considered property were free now, had other plans. They just can't leave us alone. Just could not let those slaves just go on about their business. Just like they can't just leave us the fuck alone today. 
one tiny town's population mushroomed 12-fold from the influx of researcher Paula Westbrook, who extensively studied the Devil's Punch Bowl, noted when the slaves were released from the plantations during the occupation of overran Natchez and the population went from about 10,000 to 120,000 overnight. But you're saying only 20,000 people died. See, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so the population swelled to 120,000, but you're saying out of that amount, only 20,000 slaves died. See, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Unable to grapple, grapple uh, with an instant population swell, the city turned to Union troops, still lingering after the war to devise a merciless uh, solution. So they were just looking for a solution, but a damn concentration camp didn't have to be the solution unless you yourself is a straight up devil. So they decided to build an encampment for for them at uh, the Devil's Punch Bowl, which they walled off and wouldn't let them out. Former director of Natchez City Cemetery, Don Este, explained, the Devil's Punch Bowl is so named for the caver caverness uh, bowl shape. They said, if you look at it from a helicopter or a plane, it's actually in the shape of a bowl. That's why they called it the Devil's Punch Bowl. Walled off by treetops, uh, cliffs, and area unintentionally made perfect for a hellacious uh, prison by nature herself. So the top of the bluffs, they said, were so steep, you could not get out of there. And it was not easy to walk through there. So. What they generally did, and I've read about this um, quite extensively, they roped off the women and children and put them in one area of the camp. They left them to starve to death. They just stopped giving the women and children food and water until they died. Now, if that's not the cruelest thing to do, you know, it, it was, it's insane. You have to be insane to do something like that. <sighs> A tangle of lush green top bluffs near the Mississippi River in Natchez hid past atrocities um, that took place when Union soldiers corralled and captured those freed slaves in worse condition than they had endured previously as slaves on sprawling plantations. They said the slaves were crying and said, please just let us go. Please just let us go. We're not going to bother anybody. Just let us go. They were begging to get out of there. And then what they did was turn around and put the men um, into hard labor. And they had them digging all these trenches and everything in there. And they worked them until they dropped dead. And when they dropped dead, they said, oh, just, just bury them right where they drop. They worked them until their hearts gave out, ladies and gentlemen. It's disgusting. In the unrelenting heat and humidity of the deep South, African-American men toiled at hard labor, clearing thickets and bushes, while women and children, not seen as viable workforce for the task, languished without food or water behind locked concrete walls of the camp to die of starvation. How do you expect us to like caucasoids. I'm serious. The history alone turns me off. I am so over y'all. It ain't even funny. I am, I am so over you. 
I just wish somebody would have put this in my face when I was much younger, when I was a child. I, I think this would have put me in a whole different direction on how I would have dealt with these people all along. The barbarous treatment didn't even end when someone died. The Union Army did not allow them to remove the bodies from the camp, Westbrook explained. They gave them shovels and said, bury them where they drop. Bleak conditions of the cr uh, cramp inside locked walls and forced to work until exhaustion or death also led to the spread of disease and illness. A little disgust, but insidious issue for former slaves, killing up to one million individuals following the, oh my God. I just can't even imagine how our ancestors felt. Disease broke out among them, smallpox being the main one, as they said, of the concentration camp prisoners, and thousands and thousands died. They were begging to get out, turn me loose, and I'll go back home to the plantation anywhere but here. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Additional critics, in other words, white devils, dispute Westbrook and Este and the number who died in the Natchez camps. No, because they want to downplay the number, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they're saying that. Um, saying the number's likely just a thousand. Don't buy that. This devil never tells the truth. Look, they won't even tell you the truth about the damn census. Do you really think they're going to tell you the truth about what happened in Natchez, Mississippi? <laughs> you think they're going to really, they can't even tell you the truth about the numbers now. Without methodical um, record keeping, the figure is impossible to verify with certainty. Either way, this is a black eye on American history and is still one of the largest and most brutal acts of state sanctioned deaths this country has ever seen. Wow. They have done so many evil things to us, so many hateful things. We ain't done a goddamn thing to their asses to deserve all of this hurt and pain from them. We ain't never done nothing to these damn people. Before or after they showed up in America, we ain't done a goddamn thing to their asses. I will never like you, I will never love you, and I sure as hell ain't praying for no devil ever. And if I do say a prayer for you, it's gonna be one against your entire community. I pray in these last days you face a devil's punch bowl. You face a black Wall Street you face a rose wood. You face dissection. 
in a, in medical experiments with no anesthesia. You face your blood being spilled all over the place in this country. No mercy for your cries and your fear. No mercy. I have the right to hate if that's what I want to do. Please leave your comments and subscribe. And if you can donate to this channel, please do. Peace, family.